The clock is ticking for Oklahoma County commissioners to use federal COVID dollars to build a behavioral health facility. That facility planned for construction near the future Oklahoma County Detention Center. But while they're trying to lock down a new location for that new jail, commissioners say they'd rather use the money than lose it from the federal government. News Force Caitlin Ogle has the story. We'd like to at least not lose that. Right now, there's an ongoing feud between most of the Oklahoma County commissioners and the city of Dell City to place the jail near Southeast Grand. Dell City cannot sustain that kind of a blow. You are going to cause chaos. On top of that, there are concerns on how to use $50 million of American Rescue Plan Act funds, better known as ARPA funds. The plan was to use that money on a behavioral health center adjacent to the jail if the city approved that jail location. As it sits now, we're looking at uh, anywhere between 40 and $46 million. That money should have never been earmarked for a jail. A mental health facility in a jail or as a feeder from the jail is still building a jail, which is illegal. It isn't for the jail. It's a companion item. It would be best practice to have it nearby the jail. Some want the mental health center to, as they say, benefit everyone. Why are you the keeper of the purse holding the ARPA funds hostage? Dell City doesn't want the jail in America. Amen. They'll take a mental health facility. In an effort to save ARPA funds and move forward with the Behavioral Health Center at the East Grand Boulevard location. I'd like to make a motion to direct the county engineer to renegotiate the contract. If we have the opportunity to go forward and build the mental health facility, obviously the 50 million's at stake and want to go forward. We don't want to lose that opportunity. Advocates say they'll take it. This is progress. Deal with mental health first. That's why we say community-based mental health facilities are the best. The county has not proven that they can run anything. In Oklahoma County, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Caitlin, thank you. They're hoping to have a negotiated contract by the next county commissioner's meeting.